The ocean had already killed thousands, and tonight it was about to test one man's quiet defiance. Before engines, before GPS, the sea was a liar. Sailors could read the stars to find latitude, but longitude east and west was a deadly mystery. Guess wrong, and entire fleets vanished into reefs and fog. Maps looked confident, reality was merciless. Empires bled men and money because no one could answer a simple question at sea. Where are we, really? In 1761, as dawn broke over an English harbour, a modest ship prepared to sail for Jamaica. No fanfare, no cheering crowds. Hidden aboard was not a new weapon or a famous navigator, but a small wooden box cradled like a sleeping child. Inside it ticked a clock, fragile, precise, stubbornly ordinary. And yet, if it failed, the ocean would remain unconquered. Its maker, John Harrison, was not a polished academic. He was a carpenter's son, self-taught, obsessive, and quietly furious at the world's indifference. For decades, astronomers insisted longitude must be solved by the heavens. Harrison disagreed. He believed the answer could live in gears and springs if time itself could survive the sea. But the sea destroys time. Salt corrodes. Temperature bends metal. Waves shatter rhythm. Clocks lost seconds, then minutes, then lives. As the ship rolled into the Atlantic, Harrison's marine chronometer ticked on. Days turned to weeks. Heat swelled, storms slammed the deck, sailors were thrown, ropes snapped, stars vanished behind clouds. Every sunrise dared the clock to drift. Every sunset threatened to undo a lifetime of work. Then came the moment no one aboard could feel, but history would remember. When the ship reached Jamaica, navigators compared the chronometer's time to the local noon sun. Calculations were made, hands trembled, and slowly, unbelievably, the numbers aligned. The clock was off by mere seconds. Longitude, once a ghost, stood still. In that instant, the world changed. Oceans shrank. Maps became honest. Ships could sail with confidence instead of prayer. Trade accelerated. Exploration sharpened. Countless lives were spared, not by cannons or kings, but by patience, precision, and a man who trusted time more than the stars. The sea didn't announce its defeat. It never does. It simply yielded. And sometimes history isn't changed by thunder but by a quiet, ticking sound, refusing to stop. If this story moved you, take a moment to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment with the moment that struck you most. Your support helps these hidden histories stay alive.